baristas are adding it to coffee, some people are using it in smoothies, and others are drinking it straight up from a glass. It's oat milk, which isn't milk and should not be called milk. It is commonly understood that milk comes from a cow, and some people may get the impression that oat milk is milk to which oats have been added. Actually, oat milk is a water extract of oats. It has no connection to dairy or any animal product and really should be called oat beverage. Why has it risen in popularity? Clever marketing by producers capitalizing on concerns raised by some anti-dairy activists about the, quote, healthy aura of cow's milk and in their view, the mistreatment of dairy cows. While the dairy industry may indeed be overzealous in promoting milk as a nutritional wonder, it is not a poison to be avoided, as some alarmists suggest. Oat milk is not hard to make. All you need is a cup of rolled oats, three cups of cold water, cheesecloth, and a blender. Blend for 30 seconds, strain through the cheesecloth, and you have oat milk. You don't want to blend any longer than 30 seconds because too much starch will be extracted and that will thicken the solution, just like thickening uh, any kind of a sauce with starch. Starch granules are composed of molecules of amylose and amylopectin, both of which are chains of glucose units. In amylose, the chains are straight, in amylopectin, they're branched. When the starch granules absorb water, they swell, eventually bursting, and then they release amylose into the surrounding water. Here, the freed amylose molecules bind to each other. They form a three-dimensional network in which water molecules become trapped and that results in a gel. In commercial oat milk production, this is avoided by adding an enzyme, amylase, and this enzyme breaks down amylose into smaller fragments, incapable of forming a gel. But that is not the only difference between homemade and store-bought oat milk. The commercial variety has added fat, usually sunflower oil, and that is to give it texture, more like cow's milk. It is also generally fortified with calcium and vitamins, although to different extents in different brands. Oat milk has no cholesterol and in general has less protein, less saturated fat, and more fiber than cow's milk. The fiber is in the form of water-soluble beta-glucan, and this can lower blood cholesterol, but it takes about three grams of beta-glucan to have any impact on blood cholesterol, and a cup of oat milk contains roughly one gram. Cow's milk has a greater variety of vitamins and minerals, but that doesn't make much difference in the context of the overall diet, except possibly for children. Oat milk has less sugar than cow's milk, and the absence of lactose makes it suitable for people with lactose intolerance. Neither cow's milk nor any plant milk is an essential component of the diet. Consumed in moderation, neither is likely to have a significant impact on health. However, Plant milks come out on top when it comes to environmental impact. Their production releases less carbon dioxide and uses less water. And also, it uses less land. As far as taste is concerned, well, that's a matter of taste. That for today is our Cup of Joe.